Right. Now we come on to the biomedical science, which at one fundamental level is about the integration of the control system of the chromosomes. Is what is the structure, the control of the chromosomes. It's also about the differentiation of the cell into the different types of cells. What I'm going to explain now is basically classical acupuncture theory. Here we have the brain, which is the shining self, the universal intellect, the sentience, intelligence. And there we have the heart. Now as the Sufis know, the heart, here the work concerns the heart. The heart is a you know divine vessel. And there we have the left hemisphere and the right hemisphere, which is very critical, which I'll go into more into the counselling into the next video. But it's important to understand this is the main situation. We have these two hemispheres, the right and the left. The left is about movement, observing movement, judging speed. The right is about seeing faces, recognizing faces. But as I've said, here we have the point, and as the point moves and comes back to rest again, it creates a wave, and that wave is fluid. Space is fluid. We can be here or there, we can be up there and over here. Space is fluid. And that fluid operates in an organism, like in a single cell, so that the water that in the cell is somehow or other cycled, recycled, is purified, which is the function of the kidney, or it's uh, excreted through the bladder as urine. This is about space, and the bladder expels urine, and that can be a territory marker. So urine is a critical smell. It's a territory marker. You know, so this defines the home territory. It's also the basis of the homing instinct. For example, with salmon, they can smell the river from a thousand miles away at sea somehow. So this is a function of space. From this movement, from faith, space, we get a fluid, the water, and from that we develop these two organs of the body. With the endurance of the wave, we get um, sound. And there we have the two organs of the body to do with time. The fourth dimension, the lungs with rhythmical breathing and the large intestine uh, with the regularity, as they say, the movement of the bowels, the regular movement. So these are the two things that are controlled by time, that give us the time, the regularity of our, of our bowels, the regularity of our breathing. There we have the, the, the eye, and the eye leads into the heart, you know, the observer, you know, the, the, the ego, the sense of self, our individual self. And the eye looks to the right, to the right, because remember this is to the right, because the left hemisphere controls the right side. It's always confusing like this. You know, you probably see that I get confused many times trying to get it right. But again, I'll come on to that particular aspect when I come on to the counselling. And there, so the heart is about the eyes, you know, fancying, choosing, and then the small intestine it selects, and whatever we digest, the small intestine selects what's good, takes away the selects the pure from the impure, the sheep from the goats. That's in the small intestine. And then here we have the sense of touch, which is essentially surface tension, you know, like in a cell, in a plant cell, in a living cell. So we have the, the, these two organs again, the liver and the gallbladder. The liver is where we make plans, because these are the reserves. This is where we build up reserves. And then the gallbladder 
you know, discharges at certain times. Uh, the core battery is related to, to decisions. So that these give, these positions give rise to organs of our body and give rise to functions that, w that we express. Here we have taste, which obviously we taste and it leads into our stomach. And the stomach, you know, needs the spleen in order for the, you know, the food to be absorbed by the flow of blood. This is the object relation center, remember, this is the object, and with an object you have scale and rotation. So like a catalogue of objects here. Here we have uh, the sexual energy and the, the, the body temperature, you know, the general warmth. And then finally, we have the body itself and the, and, and the skeleton its structure, you know, the, 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 the blood marrow. As I said before, there are 64 steps in the game of having top to cops cox. There are 64 steps here, and for each of these steps is actually an acupuncture point, one of the category points, you know, to control the system. I'll leave it there.